We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Tonight, an intriguing matchup between the Arizona Diamondbacks and the Colorado Rockies. It'll be fun watching these two go at it. It's next on the show. Kyle Freeland gets the start for Colorado in this one. What's your take on him, Dan? Their ball club is going to have to keep a close eye on this one. This guy's nearing 200 innings on the season, and that's a lot of innings. The guy that takes the ball every five days, I'm sure they're going to watch to see if there are any signs of him tiring early in this one. So Batter next, four. it'll be the number four batter for the Rockies, Marcel Franchise. Watch is fully in effect these days as right, he's potentially right closing in go. on a historic triple crown. He leads all three categories. Here comes the first pitch. Nice Line drive, and that's a base run, hit into center ball, field. Run. And the run scores to give the Rockies an early 1 0 lead. Boy, after scoring a boatload yesterday, D Row, they're off to a fast start again, striking here in the first inning. Yeah, this offense is on fire. Obviously, the hit meeting resonated with these guys. Scored a ton yesterday and picked up right where they left off. Stepping Batting in, good. Trevor Story. Not and the Rockies top. trying to hang uh -huh. even more damage on the scoreboard oh, in the opening frame. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And nearly a three-run shot. Instead, it's a foul ball. Swing and a miss at the curveball, and there's your second out of the inning. Now in the box, Brendan Rodgers, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Arenado on second, Franchise on at first with two down. Now a little dribbler here off to the right side of the mound. And maybe some miscommunication there as the throw zips right by him. Stepping up now, Ryan McMahon. And he enters play today, currently fifth in the National League batting race. This season really shouldn't come as a surprise to many. We all know what kind of skill this guy produces when he has a bat in his hands. Heading out towards shallow right. Garcia will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. So two runs on four hits, one error, and two men left on base. On now to the top half of inning number two. The Rockies are out in front, two to nothing. Digging in for his second at-bat, Marcel, franchise. He reached on a single in his first try. Yeah, Matt, he pressure's off right now. He extended his hitting streak that last plate appearance. Now he gets to get back into his zone work on his craft and try and drive something in the gap one out nobody on and here's a curveball in the dirt straight. that time for a Come ball on, guy, one and it. one and here's a pitch one swung ball. on and missed two one straight. and two now what I love right there is just the freedom in that hack. He ain't trying to do anything but hit the baseball as far as he can. Hard 90, hard and there's 90, out number down. two. Up next for Arizona, Eduardo Escobar. The third baseman, number five, Eduardo Escobar. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Pitch in. Throw. And he'll be tagged out at second base. Trying to get into scoring position, but instead the inning is over. Another look at the throw down that results in a third out on the bases. Back with more on this fine Saturday night. 
following this. Ready for another shot now. Marcel, franchise. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't think he even concerns himself with that. He has to put it on the ground. That's part of what makes him successful. And that'll get down for a base hit. The tag, and they got him at third. What a throw. And he'll try to get back now, but it's not going to work. The throw hangs him out to dry, and that'll end the inning. So they pick up no runs, one hit, one error in the inning. Eduardo Escobar standing in. One for two with a double on the ledger so far. Runners on the move for second. Hit. The throw. In time as he just gets the tag down. Man, that just seemed like an unnecessary steal attempt there. Down by two, that run doesn't mean much at all. The tying run is at the plate. At least he was. Let him try to make something happen or at least he... At the plate, Marcel, now franchise. First pitch Marcel. on its way. Franchise. That's outside. We're in the seventh inning with a good finish brewing. Three to one our score. That evens it up one and one. Nope. And the pitch misses low and away for ball two. Hey, come on, big guy. Get your pitch. And he misses again, ball three. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Gloved by Harrison. Throw on to first, two gone. And the train just keeps rolling down the track. That's win number 100 on the season. And they've got as good a chance as anybody to win the whole thing. You better watch out for these guys. A 4-1 to one finish in this evening's game. Colorado get their 100th victory of the season. Best in the division, not a surprise. Kyle Freeland earns his staff leading 16th victory of the season. Robbie Ray is charged with number 16 in the loss column this year. Roberto Ozuna earns the save out of the bullpen his fifth of the year. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB.